everybody. This is Gail, the Happy Stamper. Thanks for stopping by today. I appreciate you taking a few minutes of your time. And I was kind of in the mood for some fallish stuff. So I wanted to play with the oops, the cartridge that I won from Bridget. Yay! Thanks again, Bridget. I just love this. I'm using Freshly Picked. And you know Bridget as Shoe Princess 1 on YouTube. And she was sweet enough to do a giveaway. And believe it or not, I won. So I wanted to use the apple on page 48. And I'm going to be using this when I'm not doing the whole basket or sign, just the apple. So if you want to play along, please do. And I've got my apple already cut and assembled just to save some time. I'm doing a S-fold card, or Z-fold, whatever you want to call it. But it's folded this way, and then I just folded the one side back. And um, I have gone ahead. I've picked my papers. Got some pretty fall ones from the new die cuts with a view pack. And this is their amber autumn stack. And I just love all of the papers in it. Could not be cuter. So let's just go ahead and apply the I did the plaid and matted that with some black like so and then I did the apples which are in the same coordinating colors and that's the nice thing about using these packs the colors all match and coordinate hmm okay I'm reaching for another glue here friends once you know that happens but that's okay these things happen all right so I am going to use the apple on the inside of my card. So it'll be like that. And I've cut out my little apples. I did two of them. Now this was kind of tricky though, I have to tell you, because I had to cut like this out at six inches. Obviously, that's not six inches. This was at three inches. Why? I'm not sure. But that is just the way it went down. And um, I'm not sure. Sometimes you have to really play around with the sizes on the Cricut. And um, I'm just going to cut a little piece here of my... Stampin' Dimensionals, just to pop these up a little bit. I think that's going to even be too big. The leaf is just teeny, teeny, tiny. Little teeny, teeny, tiny. And then I can't wait to show you guys another project here. So I'm going to kind of rush through this a little bit more so than I normally do because I want to show you another project that I made. And I'm just going to show you the other project, which is great for fall for any holiday. Um, and then I will do a tutorial on that, hopefully tomorrow. I have to go get some more supplies. Okay, so I've got my cute little apple here. And I am going to apply that right there. Cute little apple. Then I have my little guy. Oh, yeah, it's 80s music. Woohoo! That was my time. And I'm going to put this one down here. Then I tied a little raffia, like so. I'm going to grab some little glue dots and apply this to the center because you got to have raffia with the whole country outdoor fun 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 thing and then I was looking for my little button here I have a cute button that I'm going to also apply to my ribbon like so okay now I to be able to write a little message on the inside I went ahead and I cut this piece of Creamy caramel at three and a half by three and a quarter, and I'm just going to put some adhesive on the back of this. 
like so. And put this in the center, like so. And then I cut another little apple, and I'm just going to place that down here at the bottom. So this will be my little fall apple card. And I've been doing tons of Halloween stuff, as I'm sure most of you guys have. But I really was in, like, a fall mood today. Lighting my wonderfully fall-scented candles have a little fire going like so so that is my fall card using the really cute freshly picked again this was the apple on page 48 i use this little guy and the beauty of it is because it's a shift button it cuts the apple first so then you can hit stop and not have to continue and do all the other cuts so thank you again, Bridget. I love this cartridge. It's so cute. I was looking at the apple tree, too. Okay, so there again is my cute little apple card, and it opens this way, so you can write a little message. I just thought that was really cute. Okay, so let me set that aside, and then I want to show you another project that I've made. da 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 I'm sure you guys have all seen these, but this one's really cute. This is an altered paint can. Okay, so this is a big one. All I have on hand is this little one, which I'm going to do too. And I just get these at Home Depot in the paint section. They come in a variety of sizes. Let's see if I can shift this up a little bit more to show you. So here you can see this is, you know, the inside of my paint can and it's just silver but what I've done is I have altered it with different papers and I've used different embellishments some ribbons um, you know all school theme this was a fall theme one I have done one oh gosh I did one for my girlfriend Lisa um, at the radio station and all country stuff and um, this is a school one that I have made for my son's teachers and then I fill it with pencils and put the cute little lid on it and then the handle I have covered with all sorts of you know matching ribbons and things so this is the paint can and again I'm sure you guys have seen a gazillion of these but I just thought it was cute and wanted to do another one and then I just, you know, use stickers on this and um, just two different papers, but all school themed. And I love it. It's so cute. And they're really cute, too, for Halloween. I put caramel corn in it, or I'll make my own popcorn with candy corn and pretzels and some Chex Party Mix. But if you can't read it, it says school days. So I will show you how to make the templates for this. That'll be another video, but that's kind of my mood today is fall, and that is my um, paint can alteration, and it's really cute. And then here's my cute little apple card. So all good things are fallish today at my house, so I hope this gives you guys some ideas and some inspiration. And, you know, use your cartridges for other seasons that they are intended for. This is primarily gardening, but it had apples, so perfect. Okay, guys, so check back with me. I will show you how to do the altered paint can um, on another day. All right, take care. Thanks for stopping by with the Happy Stamper. Bye, guys.